Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir. This is your digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir and we are on this edition of Teju Ki Paatshala. With me is Tejaswini Uma Sudhir who will tell us today the strategies on how you should prepare for the ICSC class 10 semester 1 physics examination. Yes. Right? So physics, what kind of strategies you should adopt to prepare and also do well in the physics paper. Okay, so let's get started without wasting any time. So this one is for 40 marks, MCQ based and uh, take it away. Force, work, power and energy is the first unit. Yeah, force, work, power and energy is the first unit. Uh, you have many chapters included in this. First, we come to force. The first concept that is uh, being talked about is movement of force. Movement of force, turning uh, force concept and equilibrium. Here, there is a lot of numerical based questions that will be asked. And also, you need to be knowing all the examples. Like, for example, uh, why do we open the door from the corner and not from the middle? You know, there are a lot of examples which you need to be uh, focusing on Remembering because there are a lot of theoretical questions which can be asked. So what you are saying is that uh, they need to be well versed both with the theory, understanding of theory, why, what happens, okay, how it happens and also to be able to relate to it when they have to solve numericals. Yeah, application based numericals will be asked. So you need to be well versed with all sides of the story that is the theory as well as with the application so that you are able to solve the numericals. So this is pretty similar Teju in the sense how you appear for the engineering or for the NEET examination. It's almost like a, a kind of a practice session for them, class 10 students, for those of you who want to appear for JE or any of the engineering examinations or NEET, right? Yeah, that's true because in JE also there are a lot of you, you learn a particular concept and the application based on that concept is what is uh, tested in your JE paper or NEET or any of the competitive exams. So, uh, there are six parts as far as the first particular unit is concerned, yeah. right? The next part is uniform circular motion, centripetal centrifugal. Back when we had our, uh, uh, you know, theoretical papers, when it was you had to write your, in your answer sheet, there used to be a typical question asked, what's the difference between centripetal and centrifugal, where you had to mention three points on either side. Now, there will be questions based on that. So, you need to have, a, you can't, uh, ratta maro strategy will no, no longer work. You need to have an understanding of, okay, exactly what is this concept, so that you're able to so answer the MCQ based questions. The next Next part work power and energy um, and that will be the, the concept of work power and energy will be related to force you should know what are the relations and there's a, a, a formula fs cos theta where theta is 0 degrees when theta is 90 degrees all those cases you sup you're supposed to know one more important thing is units the relation between different units whether it's kilowatt hour or horsepower you know you need to know the relation between the different units because they may say okay fine we want the answer in horsepower so you should be able to convert what you have got into horsepower to get the final answer so you need to keep that in mind so uh, also the mcq based questions the four choices that may be given uh, you've gone through the specimen paper do you get the feeling that it would be rather easy to kind of arrive at an answer or will the kind of the four options that would be given or three or four options that would be given would make it a little tricky for them to kind of arrive at a conclusion okay this is the one and also confusing in terms of the units that are mentioned yeah one uh, uh, advantage with mcq based question is that uh for instance, if you know that the force, uh, the unit of force is Newton and then you have meters per second mentioned in one of the options, you know that that's not the option. This, the most uh, fire of having MCQ based question is you can do elimination. Uh, there are a lot of questions which I noticed in the MCQ, in the specimen paper, which were uh, theoretical. So, you know, you had to choose, you had to go through each and every option and know which option is right. So, uh, you can use elimination, of course, but you had to know each and every concept to say that, okay, fine, this is not correct and this is correct. So, you need to have a lot of... So, basically, uh, what, from, what, from, from what you're saying, what I understand is that you need to have a 360 degree understanding of the syllabus that you have. Of course, it's a reduced syllabus, but uh, a lottery system will not work where you say that, okay, I am going to leave out this part and not do this part at all. You need to know each and every part to be able to score maximum marks as far as the 
40 marks physics paper is concerned yeah the next uh, part which is in the first unit itself is energy types that is uh, uh, potential energy gravitational potential energy kinetic energy and also you will have to know the derivation that how you got u is equal to mgh or how you got k is equal to half mv square you're supposed to know the derivations as well of course you won't be asked to do the entire derivation but it's possible that any particular part in that derivation they may say that you know okay fine what does it indicate and you know questions based on that so you need to uh, you cannot neglect things just because it's going to be mcq you need to still do everything because uh, the council f will negotiate and find a way to test you in every possible way okay. so uh, uh, so just a tip if someone is wants to prepare this chap these chapters the different components of these chapter very thoroughly what is it that you will tell them that they need to do okay theory you understand the concepts you understand Practice as many numericals as possible. Will that be one of the things that they should focus on? Yeah, you need to practice as many numericals as possible. Do all the numericals which are uh, provided in the exercise behind your textbook. As well as even the past year, uh, past any question, they are no longer irrelevant. Each of those questions will still be relevant. Though it may be the long answer format, but still there may be parts from that which may be asked in MCQ. And especially the numericals, they are very much relevant even today. The 10 years papers, you cannot neglect in any way. Okay, so 10 year papers, at least as far as a uh, uh, subject like physics is concerned remains relevant unlike some of the other subjects where you can actually look to solve some of them you of course you will not have the four options but at least you will know the process of arriving at a solution and also in some of the theory based questions that you may get as part of the mcqs you will be in a good position to attempt and answer them correctly okay yeah, the next uh, chapter which will be part of the first unit is machines. Machines, uh, you know, you uh, examples here are very important that, you know, okay, fine, this particular machine is what type of uh, lever and, uh, you know, uh, examples will be very important because they may, it's, a, it's a, such an easy MCQ to ask that, you know, okay, fine, scissors is what type of machine. Similarly, uh, you need to be uh, knowing what is the what is the mechanical advantage of each of the uh, machines, the velocity ratio, the efficiency. All of that you need to have on your fingertips. The other part of this machine's chapter is pulleys. Pulleys again, uh, unlike before when there was a question where we had to actually draw the pulley and show. Here of course because it's MCQ you don't need to be doing the drawing but still that does not mean that you neglect any part of this chapter because they can uh, um, you know, uh, give you the drawing and say okay fine what will be the mechanical advantage of this particular pulley. Highly likely that there will be a drawing based question definitely. Yeah, they will give you the diagram and then they will ask you based on that diagram. So that's something uh, very likely. So you need to be doing that. The last part of the first unit is conservation of energy. Conservation of energy is very simple. That energy cannot be either created or destroyed. It just can be you know converted from one form to the other. So there'll be questions based on that, numerical based questions, or they may directly ask you ask your question based on the uh, you know principle itself. Okay. So let's now uh, move ahead to the other two chapters which are on light as well as sound okay what do we do about light light they have just given you light. <laughs> so they have given you a you know such a broad thing saying light light has reflection refraction uh, you know uh, total internal reflection lenses and electromagnetic spectrum uh, there are diagrams in every part of this uh, light unit yes. which which is very likely that they will give you the diagram and say that okay fine what is happening for instance even in the specimen paper there was a question that you know they gave you a diagram and then they said okay fine this ray uh, what does uh, ray A indicate what does ray B indicate where you know ray A is reflection for instance ray B is total internal reflection ray C is refraction so you need to be uh, able to understand each and every concept in the light unit uh, you don't need to be learning the uh, you don't need to be uh, you don't need to draw the diagrams in your paper of course because it's mcq based but you need to be having an understanding for instance in the lenses chapter um, you uh, they may give you a diagram and say what type of lens is used in this particular diagram so you need to have an understanding of you know okay what type of image is formed in you know a convex lens or a concave lens you need to be knowing all the all the cases and um, in total internal reflection, you will have applications. Um, there are many applications which are given in your textbook, which you need to be um, understanding so that there may be any question based on it or they may give you a particular application and say, what is the phenomena that is actually happening in that particular uh, uh, situation? So that's as far as the light chapter is concerned. Yes. We covered every bit of it. 
uh yeah you have covered co i've covered every bit of it the next part is sound sound there is one part of the sound unit which is in semester 1 and the other part in semester 2 the only part which is there in semester 1 is reflection of sound waves and echoes okay so then here you need to be concentrating on the examples the different examples are given the applications applications like you know uh, what is the uh, uh, how can uh, dolphins hear or bats dolphins bats sonar all these are the applications they may just give you the application and say what is the uh, phenomena that is uh, happening in that particular thing that that and then there are these numericals which also have to be you need to practice the numericals too so that's as far as the physics syllabus is concerned for semester 1 uh you can look at it half a uh, glass half full or half empty there's a lot to be covered but of course having an mcq makes it just a little bit easy but again if you know the process that path is something which you need to cover yeah one important point which i'd like to mention is that i think you need to go through every single line of the textbook many people make the mistake that they don't you know underline and go through every line properly because of which they may miss out on a few concepts don't look at only the definition that okay fine i will learn the definition of total internal reflection and mera ho jayega go through every single line in your textbook every single diagram because it's very likely that they'll just take out one diagram from your from your textbook and put it in in the question paper and ask questions based on it so i think the main mantra would be don't skip anything go through every single line so uh, that's as far as physics is concerned we've already done a similar strategy video for maths we'll do one for chemistry also we have done for mov we have done one for history civics so please go through all those videos which you may find useful as you prepare for the first semester icsc class 10 board examinations thank you very much for watching